Tariq Rahmatullah Barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome to this episode on the go with today's reminder from beautiful Jordan to do with me and you expecting in this life turbulence, expecting in this life hardship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that we have created mankind with hardship means they are facing hardship they would face hardship and the best way for me and you to face and to manage hardship to realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often put you in hardship put you in difficulties to hear you calling to hear you begging to make you realize that no matter how strong you are wealthy you are that you are so poor and so weak that you always need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you feel every single time in your life that you need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every single moment that you are living in this life you feel that I am really poor to the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then and there you will always have a manager managing your trouble Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would manage your trouble Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not only would relieve you Allah would help you to go through it successfully and to gain from uh, minha, from a tragedy, from a calamity, it becomes a blessing. لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي كَبَدْ means we have created mankind, human, in hardship, means you will face hardship. So to be prepared for hardship, it always breaks the fall. But if we live in this life thinking and getting used to everything is fine, everything is beautiful, everything is getting used to the ni'am, getting used to the blessing, thinking that the blessing is just a routine. Yes, to think that everything happened with me, every turbulence happened with me, it is a blessing, something good would come out of it, that's a positive thinking. But to think that I am a person who would live only through goodness and good time and I will live this life without uh, being poked, poked socially, poked financially, poked emotionally. If we live in this life thinking that, you know, you are a poke free, trouble free, actually you are thinking of a different a place called Al Jannah, called heaven. So, therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, realize that the manager of your trouble, the manager of your heart, the manager of your pain, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, you will never be able to survive and thrive in this life without having Allah managing your affairs. That's why when you understand what does it mean la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah and live la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah you would realize that you are managed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all your affairs everything in this life that you go through in and out it is by the timing by the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, things that you would look at and you will see it is pain. But in reality, it is a huge gain. Wallahi, so many things in our life, we think it is pain. But in reality, it is great gain. It is so much of gain. This is also here where Nabi Shu'aib, right here, called the Nabi Shu'aib, uh, valley or the place of Nabi Shu'aib, Prophet Shu'aib, beautiful Jordan. Keep 
begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Keep asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to manage your life. Never brag about your skills, never brag about your experience. Always beg Allah to manage your life. Dear brothers and sisters, may Allah keep loving you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.